So even though it stinks and it doesn't smell very good, it's actually, there's no bacteria in here. Okay, so you're good. So this first eyelid is just like yours, it's for protection. But like you said, they're underwater. So when we go swimming, what do we do to protect our eyes? We wear goggles, right? And those goggles are clear so that you can still see underwater but that it also protects you. See this clear membrane I'm pulling down? Yeah. That's the second eyelid. Okay. How much eyelids does it have? Two sets. Two sets. Next thing, somebody want to pry his mouth open, you may have to break the jaw, it's a little tough, but you can just use your finger, just stick your thumb in there and pull it apart. So the male frogs, they have this uh, sack that they make noise with at night and you can actually visualize it in here. So another misconception with frogs is that we think that they stick their tongues out to grab food like, like this, but really, their tongues unfold to get their food. Mm -hmm. And if you look at your diagram, there are teeth right here. What are those called? Okay, those are the ones up here. What about those two little ridges on the inside? Yes, those are bomb in their teeth. Talking about the fitness of the frog, the survivability of the frog, why do you think the frog is this color on the bottom? Uh, camouflage or something? Camouflage for what? Water. For what? Water. For water, right? So if the frog is swimming in the water from the bottom, looking up, he blends in. Okay. Why would the frog look like this on the top? For land. So when he's on land, he wants to blend in with the mud, rocks, the terrain, he blends in. Okay, so there's two ways to do it. The easiest and safest way not to make too big of a mess is to go ahead and use scissors. So there's already an incision made here. I want you to continue the incision all the way up here and all the way down here. I'll pass those to Daddy. All right, what do I do? So we're gonna pierce through his hands to try to hold him down. And then we're gonna pierce these flaps to keep him open. Yep. All right, so First thing we're gonna look at are these things called fat bodies. You see any yellow, bean-like, greasy, goopy things in there? What's the fat on my body for? Warm. Okay, yeah. keep it warm and we store energy there, right? Okay. What other organs do you recognize? Your heart. Okay, where's that at? Could you could you lift it up or touch it for me? Mm, not that one. Definitely agree that there's a heart in there. Is that it's only one? Those are lungs. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Those are lungs. Are these the intestines? Down here we Where's have this? intestines. Mm -hmm. Where's the heart? Where's the heart? Is it under the lungs? Lift up your lungs. Do you see a heart? Right there. Right there. We're getting there. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are to point at that. You pointed at the blue No, I didn't. Okay, pull the ball out right here. This one goes. This is for the pins, right? Oh, we this. Um, so today the students dissected frogs, they looked at the external structures of the frog to determine the fitness of the frog, their adaptations. They also looked at the internal structures of the frog so they could find evidence for evolution, comparative evolution. Um, they saw links for organ systems that are found in humans and compared that to what they saw in frogs. They also experienced hands-on hands -on activities. Um, which kept them fully engaged. It was differentiated where each student had their own task. They were able to change tasks, rotate groups, uh, and they all had a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you.